pineal gland. What is the pineal gland? What is it for? The pineal gland is an organ that's in the center of the brain and it's responsible for secreting the hormones serotonin and melatonin, which is what regulates the sleep patterns in the human body. It's a functioning organ that basically operates on a subconscious level. In other words, this organ is responsible for the fact that people have dreams. Now, many ancients knew something about the pineal gland. They knew about its connection to the mind, something very metaphysical about it. Matter of fact, it's even mentioned in the Bible more than once. Here are just two examples of the pineal gland being mentioned in the Bible. Genesis chapter 32, verse 30. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life was preserved. Basically what was going on at Peniel so Jacob was up during the wee hours of the morning, right before dawn, right? And he was wrestling with the angel of the Most High, the angel of God or the angel of Yah. And while he was wrestling with this physical manifestation of the Most High, the Most High ended up pulling a muscle in his thigh. But Jacob was so determined to get a blessing from the Most High that he said, I will not let you go until you bless me. And the Most High blessed him and changed his name to Israel. And he saw the Most High face to face and he named the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face. He seen God face to face. We'll come back to the topic of seeing um, a little bit later in this video. The next scripture is Matthew chapter six, Verse 22. It reads, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Yahushua, aka the one that the world refers to as the Son of Man, aka the one that died for the remission of sins, spoke about the eye being single, but we have two eyes. Therefore, there is no way those could be the eyes that Yahushua was talking about especially if he said a single eye. He was referring to the mind's eye, AKA the one that's responsible for the insight that one is capable of receiving. By the way, in having insight on a particular topic is synonymous with having, with being enlightened to a particular topic. And so when it says, when, the, when that scripture says that your body will be full of light, if thine eye be single, it's saying that you will be enlightened or you will have insight, you will have knowledge. So this particular eye is responsible for the knowledge and your insight and your intuition, the light of the, if the light of your body. So if this light, if this eye, this single eye that Yahushua is talking about is corrupted, and it's closed, then your body will be full of darkness. Even Yahushua knows about the existence of a pineal gland, and why shouldn't he? After all, he's the son of the Most High Yah, aka the one that designed mankind in his image in the first place. And the fact that he was designing mankind in his image, he designed all the organs and all of their functions, knowing what their functions were and the effect that it would have on the human body, and the human soul and when he put the pineal gland in the body he knew exactly what it was for people in the days of old understood that the pineal gland was located indeed in the center of the brain and they literally called it their third eye the fact being that it was responsible for the higher knowledge and intuitive visions that many ancients were receiving back then hmm a third eye what is a physical eye composed of well, in biology and science class, they teach us that the eyes are composed of rods and cones, aka the photoreceptors that make it possible for us to see visual images. These rods and cones are responsible for processing visual light that enters into our retina and then converting it into electrical signals that the brain can process. In like manner, the pineal gland, which has been referred to as the third eye by ancients, is also composed of rods and cones, 
just like the human eyes. These rods and cones in the pineal gland are also light sensitive. This very small organ that has to do with releasing the hormones serotonin and melatonin is also responsible for the fact that people do have dreams and they do see visions. This is why people see vivid scenes and images in their mind. You know, almost as if they're literally experiencing these things, even though it's all in their head when they're asleep. Wow, both, two, both of your two physical eyes being shut, yet you're able to see vivid images. You're able to see that family member that passed away a few years ago. You're able to see that uh, bully of yours at school in an encounter that you, you're afraid that you might have with him. Or you're able to see weird abstract images and whole worlds that are constructed in your mind. Places that don't actually exist, but you're actually seeing these things and both of your eyes are shut. The Most High blessed Jacob and he opened his pineal gland. Notice what I said just then. The Most High opened his pineal gland. In other words, no, you don't want to be sitting up in your room, sitting on the floor in a yoga position trying to open your third eye. That's not how you do it. You open yourself up to all kinds of entities and demons and creepy spirits and mess around and become a schizophrenic trying to open your third eye on your own. But rather, you should be sitting there focusing on the Most High and praising Him and allowing Him through the guidance of the Ruach HaKadosh. That's how your pineal gland gets open and what happens when you allow when you allow the spirit of the most high to take over what is the spirit what what is the ruach what does it say in the bible what the ruach will do for you it says that it will basically lead you and guide you into all truth it will give you insight so there's no need to get into all these weird yoga meditation and humming and um, frequencies and tones and all that stuff in order to open your pineal gland. You just focus on the Most High and He'll open it for you. As I said, the ancients, they knew about the pineal gland. If you look in every culture all around the world, the into ancient Indian culture, the Hindus, you look at um, ancient Chinese culture, ancient Japanese culture, ancient Egyptian culture, ancient Mayan culture, Everywhere around the world, they know about the existence of the pineal gland. And you want to know why? Israel was captive in all nations. And all of their secrets, because of the fact that they were captive in all nations, all the other nations were able to gather information from the Israelites that were there. So, all of this information really belongs to the ancient Israelites. Just because you see some some yogi trying to teach somebody yoga and they're talking about opening your third eye and all that stuff yeah they might be doing it from an unlearned disconnected from the most high yah fashion but what they're saying isn't necessarily lies see satan he can take anything and make it into something wicked you know you can take fire and use it to burn down a house or you can use it to cook but it's all up to you and what your intentions are. All the ancients around the world thought of the pineal gland as an organ that was responsible for all the different um, metaphysical thoughts and metaphysical intuition that they were receiving at the time. Vision of things that are immediate face, facial eyes cannot comprehend. Is the concept of a third eye or a pineal gland really evil and of the occult and wicked and witchcraft and whatnot. It's time to think people.